everybody. Thanks a lot for tuning in. If you like hauls and you like a little bit of randomness, that's pretty much what this is. Um, I went to Target a few days ago and just picked up a lot of different things. I was looking for some new fall decor, so I have some of that, a um, little bit of fashion, just a little bit, and some beauty type things as well. But I first off just want to say if I look puffy. I feel like my eyes are so puffy. I maybe don't notice it as much now with my makeup on, but as I was doing it, they were just really kind of puffy and swollen, and it's because I was crying last night. Just so emotional thinking about Belle turning one year old, and uh, Tyler and I were just talking about it. We had put her to bed, and we we're just reminiscing about just, and, and here it goes again. No, I can't go there now. But just thinking about not only the fact that, you know, a year has passed and she's getting older, and that kind of makes me weepy, but just all of the ways like we as people have changed because of her, you know, just all the things she's taught us, all the things that a baby uh, brings about in your life. It just, um, it makes me so emotional. Not like bad emotional, but just like, it's hard to explain, but it's just been a really monumental year for us here. We've been going through old pictures and looking at her when she was like, you know, just the length of your forearm, you know, you could hold her right there and now she's walking around. We are just so, so grateful for her. Um, for all of your kindness that you guys share with us as well. It really, really means a lot. It touches me um, more deeply than I can express. So I just want to say thank you. <sighs> Okay, how do we kind of transition out of the emotions? Um, let's talk about Target stuff. <laughs> pumpkins, back here. Um, I actually ran into these pumpkins in uh, the whole fall Halloween area of Target, and they had some really, really cute ones. Um, they also had some that had little, like, studs on them, and it was just adorable. And this is my favorite time of year to decorate, aside from Christmas, you know. But Christmas can get a little overwhelming sometimes with the decor. Not that I don't love putting up a Christmas tree, but... I go Go really big at Christmas time and it can be a lot but for fall it's just like you know throw around some cute little pumpkins and I'll be happy <laughs> but they had these two sizes of the polka dot ones and I knew I was getting the little one and then something told me go for the big one as well so they just fit really nicely back here that little gold candle holder was actually just something I had from Hobby Lobby uh, well these pumpkins are pretty much white I don't know maybe they're like the slightest bit off white but you can see they look okay on top of these white Ikea drawers I also got this little sleeve of like eight mini pumpkins and they're more of a cream color and it's kind of burnt orange and they had this really pretty like kind of bronzy rose gold glitter on them as well and so I've got those scattered around the house downstairs they really match in with my decor down there they're just so cute I love the polka dots and little like zigzags on them I love those that was pretty much what I came up with decor wise I have a lot of fall type stuff already that just really carries over year to year for me and I'm kind of simplifying it a bit more now like definitely being mindful of what things Belle can like reach up to and grab but if you're interested in more on that I was thinking maybe I might do something on the vlog channel like home decor wise but let me know if you even care about that. I also of course stopped by the one spot in Target where everything's a dollar and this <laughs> I don't know. It just belongs in this room. That's all I can say. It's not like I went in saying, hmm, I really need a mini clipboard. And if it could be pink and gold, that would be great. But <laughs> I saw it. It was a dollar. And then they had this little, um, this is actually a magnetic little to-do list. So yeah, that fits nicely right there. Since having a baby, I've become much more of a list maker and just, you know, scratch it off as you get it done as opposed to a day-by-day planner like this certain thing needs to get done on this particular day because that kind of drove me crazy because I was always crossing things out and drawing arrows and it just looked like I don't know some kind of football play chart so I like to do lists. I also had some super cute little thank you notes. I am often sending these out to you guys um, so you may be seeing some of these come into your mailbox soon but I like the green and the gold on there and as many of you probably notice I pretty much live in the Morona um, Target t-shirts. <laughs> I love them. I have so many like solid shades or like that kind of heathered looking print and there were actually two new prints that I saw the last time I was there that I really wanted to get. One was this and this is just standard like v-neck t-shirt style here and this made me think of leopard at a glance um, but really it's just kind of a 
leopard-ish print. I don't know what to say. It's got that bronzy kind of old gold, um, also black and dark brown, and I just love it. And it actually, when I laid eyes on it, I thought, wouldn't that be pretty with a bronzy, smoky guy? <laughs> there was some kind of deal on them. I don't know if it was buy one, get one 50% off. I think that's what it was. So the other one I picked up was this cute um, camo one, which actually has like navy blue in it instead of black. I see that just looking great with a pair of jeans, you know, very simple. These shirts, they're relatively inexpensive and it's just, I, I like wearing those things that I don't have to wear and be worried about, like get upset if it gets stained or if the neckline gets pulled out. Was anybody watching my CVS haul where I was talking about those awesome little um, headbands and bun wraps that have the flexible ties on them? Like you can just, they're wired. There's a, a small wire running throughout and you can make them lay exactly how you want them to. I found more of those, but I found them from the Remington brand, actually. I think it's just a brilliant idea because bandanas, sometimes those just take a little more fooling around with, and these are so easy. So what I have done is this is just a long, you know, strip of a headband. I literally just twisted it a couple times and pulled this to lay however I want it to, like the wires in there. I could have it sticking up like that if I wanted to. It's so cool. It's kind of like a Pippi long stocking type effect. But these are by Remington. It says anywhere here hair, hair and wrist. Okay, people are wearing these on the wrist apparently. But here's, um, you know, a look at some of the different ways you could wear them. I'm a big fan of also just pulling the hair up into the bun and then wrapping one of these around. I love that there was just a plain black available and then a couple of super cute plaid ones. I thought this one seems so wintry and it's a little bit thicker fabric. So I just love that. And then this one, you know, just a classic like red, white, and blue plaid. I think that's so cute. Now something I have liked to use actually kind of at the start of my day at times instead of doing a full face washing. I've been experimenting with some of the different micellar waters including the one from Simple. That's the one I've had the longest and used the most of it. It's seriously just so simple to grab a cotton ball and just swipe it all over your face and you feel refreshed but you don't feel over dried and I think that's kind of the concept is that you can cleanse your skin without completely stripping it. I've also been using um, the Bioderma, the Sense formula of that and this Boots Botanics micellar cleansing solution called All Bright. Now a lot of these will claim makeup removal as well and I have experimented with that. You can check my full review on the simple um, micellar water for more of my experience. In a nutshell though, I didn't think it did a good job on eye makeup even though it claimed to really be able to tackle everything. I thought it took a lot of work on the eyes, a lot of little cotton pads, but I was really interested when I saw, I think it's a magazine ad, that they're putting out the micellar makeup remover wipes. So um, I'm interested to give these another crack from the makeup removal standpoint and see if maybe these work better. It's gonna take a lot for me to like anything better makeup removal wise than the um, Olay Daily Facials or the Equate Daily Facials cleansing cloths. The ones that start dry, you get them wet and then they suds up. I love those, but I'm willing to give these a shot. I also saw this in the um, bath aisle. I have not used a lot of stuff from the brand Method. Actually, I think I have one like, um, I used a cleaning spray for a while and really liked it, but they had this in the body wash aisle. It looks like either a mouthwash, uh, some sort of cleaning solution, but this is a foaming body wash. It says with aloe and vitamin E. The scent on this is ruby orange, and um, I think I was Instagramming about a soap that I liked a while back, and so many of you were saying you should try the Method foaming soaps if you like the foaming hand soaps, and I do love those. Um, I've got one from Ulta I really like, the Bath and Body Works foaming soaps, but have never tried a foaming body wash, so I have not used this yet. The scent on it is really, really refreshing, and I I got the orange because I know Tyler loves orange scented stuff. So I thought he would like this. So we haven't used it yet, but we're gonna soon. Um, Burt's Bees has a pumpkin spice limited edition lip balm. I've never seen this before until this year. Saw it at the end of one of the makeup aisles. Got it. Um, I've already reviewed this stuff on the Express channel if you want some more details, but it is a pretty legit pumpkin spice scent on this. And Burt's Bees is just kind of on fire with the different scented um, lip balms that they're coming out with. I love the wild cherry. I've talked about that before, but I had to go there. I had to get the pumpkin spice, and this is nothing tinted, by the way. It's just like standard lip balm, but yep, it, it gets you in the mood for the season, I gotta say. 
and I got the pumpkin spice Oreos. Holy crap. Why didn't anybody tell me these are so good? <laughs> I really like them. I get such a yummy like pumpkin pie vibe and I think I don't know, beware. You come away from eating those and you really do want some pumpkin pie, but it's really good. So I was glad I found those. And makeup wise, I really wasn't running across a lot of new launches. I have bought, you know, a few new things that I've seen on Ulta's website that you will probably see me talking about in future videos. But as far as Target goes, I just wasn't seeing a lot. And I was feeling compelled to try some older things that maybe I tried like way, way back in my early makeup using days. One of those, which is probably the first concealer I ever bought, is the Invisible Concealer from CoverGirl. I got this in the shade Light, and this is now, I guess, under the Clean umbrella because it's called Clean Invisible Concealer. And I did use this today. Um, it works rather well, I must say. I need to keep a close eye on whether or not it dries me out, like on the under eye area, because that's really the main place where I used it. But I just felt like trying that out again. And also this powder, the Simply Powder Foundation. Got it in Creamy Now. Natural. I remember always buying the shade Creamy Natural in CoverGirl stuff. Whoa! Back in like my late junior high days, this was maybe like an eighth grade purchase for me. Comes with the little sponge. And really, I don't think they've changed or improved the formulation much since then because it is a much like drier feeling powder compared to some of the like powder foundations I'm used to using nowadays. Like I think the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat, the It Cosmetics, even that Revlon Nearly Naked Powder, you know, you touch them and they feel kind of buttery smooth and this does just kind of feel dry. But I did set my makeup look with just a little bit of this today and I don't know, felt a little nostalgic. So that pretty much wraps up the new Target stuff that I picked up. Super excited about the flexible headbands, so I really wanted to share that with you. I was thinking of lumping in some of the new Ulta stuff with this video, but I thought it might just be too long, and I think it really would be. So if you want to see a separate video on that, let me know. Or I may just kind of introduce you to some of those products in individual reviews. But thank you so much for watching. Thanks for bearing with my emotional self as I plop down at the start of this video and just... But I love you guys. I really appreciate your support. And I thank you so much for watching. Bye.